Hello and welcome back to your 30 day core challenge. You're on day 28. Amazing job. Let's get started in side plank. So we'll use the forearm, bringing your elbow right underneath your shoulder, straighten your legs out one by one. You can stack your feet on top of each other or bring one foot in front of the other. Either way, really squeeze your core muscles in order to keep your hips elevated. So if you notice there's like some dumping action here, see if you can lift your hips up even more by engaging your core. We'll just stay here. You can stay with your gaze um, down at your forearm. You could look forward or maybe looking up towards the sky. Keep squeezing your core here, engaging your abdominal muscles to keep you lifted. So lots of work into the side waist here. But you'll notice that engagement is happening through the whole circumference, the whole 360 degrees. Stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly lower your hips down and then lift them back up. Exhale to slowly lower. Inhale to lift. We'll do five of these. Slowly lower. Exhale. Inhale to lift. Two more. Lower and lift. Last one. Lower and lift. Reach your left arm up. Reach up through your fingertips. And then slowly lower yourself down, coming onto the other side. So coming into forearm side plank. Left elbow underneath your shoulder. Extend your legs back. Remember, you can keep your feet stacked on top of each other or bring one foot in front of the other if that feels more stable. Adjust yourself so that you're using your core. You want to keep yourself lifted by engaging your abdominal muscles. Remember, you can gaze down at the ground can keep your head in neutral or maybe lift your gaze towards the ceiling whatever feels more comfortable changing your gaze also challenges your balance so just go to a place where you can feel stable keep engaging your core you might notice a little shaking you might notice your breath start to quicken stay here for another big breath in squeeze your abdominals full breath out one more round of breath inhale as you exhale slowly lower down nice take a big breath in Exhale to lift. Do five of these, lower your hips. Exhale, lift. Inhale to lower. Exhale, lift. Here's your last two, lower and lift. Lower and lift. Reach your right arm up, extend, hold your core, lift your chest. Reach, reach, reach. And then slowly lower yourself to the ground. Just come into a sitting position for a moment. Cross your legs. You can also sit up on a block. Just allow your hands to rest on your lap. Just feel your waist, side body. Calm down your breath. Nice big inhale and exhale. We'll do a bit of a seated sit up next. So interlace your hands just behind your head. As you exhale, allow your head to fall back into your hands. So you're just letting the weight of your head do the work here. Bring your elbows out to the side. Take a full breath in. Exhale with control, rounding your elbows towards each other, chin to chest. Inhale to open up and expand. Exhale to curl it in. So you're using your core muscles here. You're not yanking on your head, just a little extra pressure there. We'll keep it going with the breath. Pulling your belly button towards your spine. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, squeeze it in. Let's do five more. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round, squeeze your core, inhale, open up. Exhale, curl it in. Here's your last three, use your breath to move. Round it in. Inhale to lift and exhale, curl. Nice, bring your elbows out to the side like full pose. Take a big breath in, exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, back to center. Same side, exhale, twist to the right. So keeping your abdominals engaged here, we'll just keep moving of cinching your waist, bringing your belly button in towards your spine. Let's do three more, twisting to the right side. Squeeze your belly. Here's your last one. Hold it, bring your left elf fingers to the right knee, tense your fingertips behind you, lift your chest. Just take a nice big rip, nice little twist here. Bring your torso back to center and switch out your legs. So whichever leg was in front, Cross the other leg in front. Bring your arms out to the side like goal pose. Take a big breath in. Exhale, twist to the left. So belly to spine. Keep your chest lifted, your spine long. We're just going to rinse it out to the left side. Just squeezing your belly button in. So this is strengthening your abdominal muscles, definitely. But this is also helping you to get some compression into the digestive tract, which aids in 
um, your metabolism. Let's do three more. Inhale back to center. Exhale to squeeze to the left. So you're just helping your body perform its natural functions. Here's your last one. Squeeze, hold it. Bring your right hand to your left knee. Touch your fingertips, lift your chest, and look over your left shoulder. So rinsing yourself out. Come onto your backside. Plant your feet on the ground and interlace your hands behind your head. So you can stay with your feet on the ground or you can bring your shins up to parallel. Either way, I really want you to scoop out your low back and flatten your low back to the ground. Exhale your breath. Take a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, curl your body up. So keeping your knees over your hips if you're um, lifting your shins off the ground. Belly button pulls in. Using your exhale breath to lift your rib cage up and your inhale to lower yourself down. And keep it going. Remember, you can always place your feet on the ground. That feels more supportive. Keep pulling your belly button in towards your spine. Elbows stay out nice and wide to the side. Make sure your chest is calm, your face is relaxed. Keep pulsing here. So you're going at your own speed. You can go as slowly as you want to. Make sure you're using your muscles here. Contract your core to lift. One more time, lift. Bring your arms out to the side, palms facing down. And let's pump the arms. Inhale for one, two, three, four, five. Exhale for one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Gather your knees into your chest. Give yourself a gentle rock from side to side and then release yourself into Shavasana. Arms long, legs long, body nice and heavy. So that's enough for today. We'll see you back tomorrow.